Next, we have the next set of problems under the heading solve for x. We need to solve for x, that is find the value of x. Given determinant x plus 2, 3, 4, 2 x plus 3, 4, 2, 3 x plus 4 equals 0. So, they are saying that the determinant is 0, find out for what values of x. Okay, have a look at the determinant x 2 3 4 x 2 3 4 x 2 3 4 so all the entries in the rows are the same so if you use column operations and add them column 1 plus column 2 plus column 3 you will get the same number okay so what do you get x plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 will be x plus 9 so we shall use the operation that is column so column 1 plus column 2 plus column 3 so x plus 9 3 4 again add this you will get x plus 9 3 4 sorry x plus 3 4 add all this x plus 9 3 and x plus 4 equal to 0 don't forget this equal to 0 now x plus 9 is common in the first column so bring it outside what will remain is 1 3 4 1 x plus 3 4 1 3 x plus 4 equal to 0 now look at this determinant try to bring in as many zeros as possible because it will help us in uh, expanding the determinant easily 1 1 4 4 so you need to do r2 minus r1 1 1 3 3 we need to use r3 minus r1 so r2 replaced with r2 minus r1 and r3 replaced with r3 minus r1 so x plus 9 is already there outside first row as it is second row 1 minus 1 0 x plus 3 minus 3 x 4 minus 4 0 again 1 minus 1 0 3 minus 3 0 x plus 4 minus 4 is x equal to 0 now x plus 9 look at this determinant the value of this determinant equals product of the principal diagonal because we have three zeros here so it is 1 into x into x that's nothing but x square equals 0 now on it is easy to solve product of two numbers is 0 implies either x plus 9 is 0 or x square is 0 so when will this be 0 this will be 0 if x is minus 9 and x square will be 0 if x is equal to 0 so we have solved for x so the value of x should be either minus 9 or it should be 0 so for both these values the this determinant will be equal to 0 second question under solve for x determinant 3x minus 8 3 3 3 3x minus 8 3 3 3 3 x minus 8 equals 0 now you are used to solving the problems so you will clearly tell me that the operation which we should use is column 1 plus column 2 plus column 3 but here you can also use r1 plus r2 plus r3 because that will give you the same answer as well so let me go for column operation so column 1 plus column 2 plus column 3 what will happen 3x minus 8 plus 6 that will give me 3x minus 2 so 3x minus 2 3x minus 2 rest write as it is equals 0 don't forget take out 3x minus 2 from the first column what remains is 1 1 1 3 3x minus 8 3 3 3 3 3x minus 8 equals 0 now the same logic again try to bring in as many zeros as possible so 1 1 3 3 so use r2 minus r1 1 1 3 3 use r3 minus r1 r2 replaced with r2 minus r1 r3 replaced with r3 minus r1 
So we have 3x minus 2. So determinant 1, 3, 3. 1 minus 1 is 0. 3x minus 8 minus 3. That will give me 3x minus 11. 3 minus 3, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. 3 minus 3, 0. 3x minus 8 minus 3 is 3x minus 11. Use the same property once again. For this determinant, the answer is product of principal diagonal. So we have 3x minus 2 into 1 into 3x minus 11 into 3x minus 11. So 3x minus 11 into 3x minus 11 equals 0. So we have product of 3 numbers 0. So when will that take place? If this will give you x equal to 2 by 3, this will give you x equal to 11 by 3, this will give you x equal to 11 by 3. So these are the values for x which will satisfy this. The determinant will be 0 if x assumes these values. Third problem, determinant x minus 1, 1, 1, 1, x minus 1, 1, 1, 1, x minus 1 equals 0. We need to solve for x. Again, if you observe x minus 1, 1, 1, all the numbers are the same in every row and column. So, we will go for column operation, column 1 plus column 2 plus column 3. So, x minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 will give you x plus 1. So, the column 1 will be x plus 1 throughout. Then we have 1, 1, x minus 1, 1, 1 x minus 1 equals 0. Now x plus 1 is common in the first column. Take it out. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, x minus 1, 1, 1, x minus 1 equals 0. So again, the same logic bringing in zeros. 1, 1, 1, 1, so R2 minus R1 and again 1, 1, 1, 1, so R3 minus R1. So R2 is replaced with R2 minus R1, R3 is replaced with R3 minus R1. So we have x plus 1, so 1, 1, 1, so 1 minus 1 is 0, x minus 1 minus 1 is x minus 2, 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 1, 0, x minus 1 minus 1 is x minus 2 equals 0. So x plus 1 into the answer of this determinant is product of the diagonal elements. So we have x minus 2 into x minus 2 equals 0 which tells us that x should be equal to minus 1 or x equal to 2, x equal to 2. So these are the values for x. Fourth question, determinant 1 plus x, 1 minus x, 1 minus x, 1 minus x, 1 plus x, 1 minus x, 1 minus x, 1 minus x, 1 plus x equals 0. We need to solve for x. If you observe in every row and column, there are same uh, numbers, so we can add them. So let us go for the column operation, column 1 replaced with column 1 plus column 2 plus column 3. So when you add these 3, what will you get? 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. x and x will get cancelled, so only 1x will remain. So you will have 3 minus x. So that will be the same thing here as well. So remaining entries right as it is. Equals 0. Now 3 minus x is common, take it out. So we have 1, 1, 1, 1 minus x, 1 plus x, 1 minus x, 1 minus x, 1 minus x, 1 plus x equals 0. Try to bring in as many zeros. So 1 and 1, 1 minus x and 1 minus x. So R2 minus R1 and again here R3 minus R1. So we go for R2 replaced with R2 minus R1, R3 replaced with R3 minus R1. So we have 3 minus x 
into 1, 1 minus x and 1 minus x as it is. 1 minus 1 is 0. Next we have 1 plus x minus 1 plus x. So what will happen? 1 and this will get cancelled. You will get 2x. So 1 minus x minus this will be 0. Then we have 0, 0. 1 plus x minus 1 minus x will be again 2x equals 0. So 3 minus x into all the three entries over here are 0. So the determinant is equal to product of the elements in the principal diagonal. So we have 4x square equals 0. So 4 cannot be equal to 0. So either 3 minus x x square should be equal to 0. 4 cannot be equal to 0. So 3 minus x into x square should be 0. If this is the case, then either x is 0 or x should be equal to 3. So these are the values for x. So x can take the values 0 and 3 in this problem. Fifth problem determinant 3 minus x minus 6 3 minus 6 3 minus x 3 3 3 minus 6 minus x equals 0. If you observe the entries in every row and column are the same so we go for the same operation column 1 replaced with column 1 plus column 2 plus column 3. So what do we get 3 plus 3 is 6 6 minus 6 0 what remains is only minus x. So in all the other two cases also it is minus x. Remaining entries right as it is. Now bring out the minus x. What will you get? 1, 1, 1, minus 6, 3, 3 minus x, 3, 3 minus 6 minus x equals 0. Try to bring in as many zeros as possible. Observe here, 1, 1, 3, 3. So you can do r2 minus r1. 1, 1, minus 6, 3. These numbers are not the same now, but still we will go for r3 minus r1 because we will get one zero here. In the previous problems, these numbers were also same, so we were getting one more zero. But here it is not possible, but three zeros are enough. We will be happy with it, okay? So we will go for the operation r2 replaced with r2 minus r1 and r3 replaced with r3 minus r1. So it is minus x into 1 minus 6 and 3. Then 1 minus 1 is 0. 3 minus x minus of minus 6. So 3 minus x minus minus 6. So this becomes plus 6. So 6, 3 minus x plus 6. So this becomes 9 minus x. Then we have 3 minus 3, that is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. Here, 3 minus minus 6, that is plus 9. 3 minus of minus 6 is plus 9. Then we have minus 6 minus x minus 3. So this will be minus 9 minus x equals 0. Now this number is not 0, so we cannot use the property saying it is uh, equal to product of principal diagonal. Here we have to expand the determinant. There is no other choice. So minus x into plus minus plus, remember that. So 1 into, delete this, delete this, this number into this number. That is 9 minus x into minus 9 minus x minus 0, okay. Change the sign of this, it becomes plus 6 into, delete this, delete this, 0 into this number is 0, minus 0, so it is 0, plus 3 into, 0 minus 0 is 0, equal to 
0, simplify, minus x into 9 into minus 9 is minus 81, minus 9x plus 9x plus x square equals 0. So this will get cancelled, you will get minus x into x square minus 81 equals 0. So minus x into x square minus 81 can be written as x square minus 9 square. Okay and x square minus 9 square can be written as x plus 9 into x minus 9 equals 0. So what are the possible values of x? x can be equal to 0, x can be equal to minus 9 or x equal to 9. So the values of x are 0, 9 and minus 9.